everybody, this is Lori, and I am going to do my video for uh, Sabrina Ann's Spooky Space Challenge. It's called Sab's Spooky Space Challenge, and um, the deadline to enter is October 31st. So I wanted to share my small little space. Um, so I just have just a really small corner in my dining room um, this year. And um, um, I'm using this card that I got from my mom. And I just put all my things on there. So this is a bag from 31. If anybody knows uh, 31, they sell all kinds of um, bags and things. And I just have all my uh, ribbon from Michaels and Dollar Tree and stuff. Most of it's from Michaels. And I think these two are from Joanne's. And my red line tape. Um, so I'm going to move this to the side. And over here I have all my sequins. You can see all the sequins. These are from the Dollar Tree. These I got at like Hobby Lobby and Michaels. Those are some spiders from the Dollar Tree. These are some little stars. And I think these black ones are bats. And I got these at TJ Maxx last year. And then these are the uh, sequins from Michaels from last year. So I think they're carrying them again. I'm not sure if the color is the same, but I think it is. Um, over here are some altered spaghetti sauce jars that I just saved and washed out and stuff. And um, I embellished them with my cupcake liner embellishments and some ribbon. This burlap ribbon's from the Dollar Tree. Some pom-pom trim. Some, um, what do they call this? Tool. That's also from the Dollar Tree. And then this is a little embellishment from Recollections. And then I just have all my straws in there. So that's that one. And then here's my seed beads for my shaker cards that I made a couple this Halloween. Here's the other one that I did. I just wrapped the jar with some uh, black chalkboard tape um, and then wrapped that ribbon around it. And that ribbon I've had for a while. I, I think it's come from Michaels from one time or another. Another uh, cupcake liner embellishment that I made. And then I just have my um, uh, chenille stems or fuzzy stems, whatever they're called. And this is a box that I altered, a cigar box. And inside this box uh, is just like stickers and stuff like that. So, so yeah, I just, all I, I didn't really decorate it a whole lot. It was already black, so I didn't even have to paint it. All I did was add paper to it. So, so that was kind of nice to do that. And then it was just one less thing laying around that I could use for storage. Because <laughs> my husband's given me so many cigar boxes that, um, yeah, they've been laying around. Um, this is a little Pez dispenser that I got at Michael's for my daughter. Um, these are all my cupcake liners uh, that I've gotten, like at Dollar Tree and different places, TJ Maxx. So there's that. Um, this bucket came from Target at one time, I think, but I got it at the thrift store uh, last year. So I just have all my pens in there and this little vase with this little um, lollipop flower or whatever you want to call it. Cupcake liner embellishment flower. So, yeah, I made a few of those, but I've already given them away, so it's the only one I have left. I think I've showed this in other videos. That's just like a tower that stacks that I put stickers in. And uh, most of them are felt. Um, another jar that I altered. This time I just used some um, ribbon and twine and some of those fuzzy stems, chenille stems from Target's Dollar Spot. And that's the die everyone's been showing from Tuesday morning. I just picked it up, so I've been playing with that. It's really a lot of fun to play with, so I made a whole bunch of those jack-o'-lanterns. Um, this I got at Michael's, 
and I just have some more, more liners in there and to cleanse. Um, some duct tape I got. I think I found this at the thrift store actually. Um, and I have some stamps in here. Some um, these stamps like it came from like Joann's from at one time or another. Some other stamps that I got at Michael's. This came from um, the Dollar Tree, and I just have all my washing in there, and these are some little shaker pockets that I made. These are using those um, pockets from um, Target, when Target had them in their dollar spot, and um, so yeah, I just sealed the top because I don't have the fuse tool or anything. So I just sealed the top with some scotch tape and washi. And then I use seed beads. And I thought it turned out cute. This paper is from Graphic 45. And then here's another one I made using the same sort of pocket. And then here's more of those jack-o'-lanterns. I've been making those like crazy. <laughs> They've been a lot of fun. So there's that. So that's really my uh, little cabinet. And then it has a drawer and cabinet doors, and I have other things in there, like paper and stuff. So, okay, so I'm going to cover you, and I'm going to move over to this little shelf that I have right here. And I'm not sure where the shelf came from. I think my mom had given it to me one time or another. Um, so I just have those, uh, more boxes from Michael's, I mean from, I'm sorry, from Dollar Tree, and I have, sorry, <laughs> I gotta sit on the floor, I have my washi tape in one, I mean not washi tape, my stickles, I have this, cause it's kinda like, it's falling apart here, um, and some glitter tape from Heidi Swap some twine or not twine like jute in orange and black these came from target at one time or another another one of those boxes with some altered pencils and i have a video on those pencils and on my channel um they're for um some kids um we're going to a halloween party so i'm gonna take those and then i decorated the front with those eyeball clothespins and these um, felt jack-o'-lanterns that came from Target. So that looks cute. I thought that looked cute. And then down here in the center, in the middle um, shelf, I have some punches and paper clips. And there's that die that I bought from Tuesday morning. So I have that down there. And then in the very last uh, shelf, sorry, it's so hard to see down here, um, I have all my paper that I've been using. This is a Graphic 45 um, Steampunk Spells collection. I just have the paper. I don't have the um, any embellishments or anything to go with it. And then I had the Boo Collection from Michaels from this year. I didn't get too many of the embellishments. I think I got this, I got only this paper pad and like a couple sets of, of the stickers and that was it. Um, and then I have also from Graphic 45, the Halloween in Wonderland collection. And this is the original collection when they released it like a few years ago. I know they re-released it again. And I'm not exa exactly sure if it's the same, but I've used a couple sheets of that. And then I just have my tape runners and stuff down here. So yeah, that's uh, really my spooky space. It's not uh, much of a space, but it's kind of all that I could do this year because um, my craft room is actually uh, not in my uh, main level of my house. And um, I do not use it in the warmer months of the year. Um, so I just don't like being in the basement. Um, so yeah. So yeah, so that's my space. And I just wanted to share 
with you and uh, get the video uploaded before the challenge ends. So everyone have a wonderful crafty day and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye for now.